Welcome back everybody to another video here and today I'm going to be playing Unearth. This is another fantastic game that was submitted for the Game Boy Competition 2021. It was made by Grumpy Function and Ben Jelter. Uh, this is an awesome game, it's extremely well polished. It says it's made in GB Studio. Uh, and a lot of the stuff you can see was definitely inspired by how uh, GB Studio works, for example, the uh, block pushing puzzles. Uh, and this is a puzzle game. This is a fantastic uh, story based uh, puzzle game. Uh, by story based, I mean that like you have a character and, or like you are a character that you're already being given and they have a reason for you being in this world. And, you know, what they, what they want is what um, the character is basically aimed for. Um, so you have a house and you have a basically a AI overlord you see here that's telling you to get to work um, and then um, obviously you're dreaming of going back home um, uh, obviously it just says we don't have any messages and that's true but we can uh, we can look at this image here and it's of our family um, I missed the Mori today. So I've completely finished the game on my Game Boy and I loved every minute of it. There were some puzzles that were extremely hard and I had to think really hard to uh, figure them out. Um, and other ones that uh, it was more like trial and error to, you know, get to the end and work it out. Um, but yeah, let's let's show you how the game works. Um, obviously most of, most of these uh, cutscenes and bits are just, you know, um, just artwork. And as you can see, they probably used a a plugin to make like sprites bigger and stuff um, but for the actual gameplay that isn't um, at all what uh, you know what's going on so as you can see where this um, with this thing unfortunately I can't make it full screen uh, they haven't included a full screen button which is kind of annoying um, but either way you can see it and you can move around and when you press B I think and you you basically uh, go down and you press B again and you can go up and as you can see, we have then collected some resources. If we go on this, I think it fills us up. We can go back down. And you see the top left corner is like the fuel gauge. Um, and I think if I press select, yep, uh, then I can get out of the, um, the thing and walk around, which is useful for different puzzles. Um, and so, yeah, let's keep going. As you can see here, it has a a thing where it's like golf, right? Where you have to move in the less moves as possible. Um, and you get a star if you do. And also you can collect different, um, I think it's like uh, gems or whatever, which then uh, let you unlock a different ending, I think. So yeah, uh, you can see this is the classic rock pushing puzzle. Um, and it's, it's uh, you know, classic stuff that uh, GB Studio is like basically made f about um, and obviously when you mess up then you can I think you press start and then press self-destruct uh, as you can see here even the pause menu is extremely detailed the earth in the distance and like the uh, the company name um, and then obviously level select uh, stuff uh, and then when you explode you just obviously explode and just restart from where you left off and I'll show you how you can uh, do some more stuff. So as you can see that there's the gem, uh, so we need to get to it somehow. Um, but we've just collected the um, we just collected the uh, ore, which is the main part of the game. And then if we go on this, we can fill back up, and then we can try and collect the gem and then because we haven't done it before um fantastic okay so now we can leave and as you see uh obviously we didn't do that well because we went and collected that thing but we now have a gem there's a gem thing here and another awesome thing about this game is it auto saves and auto load so when you finished a mission it auto saves for you and then when you when you come back to playing, even on your own Game Boy, 
uh, the game basically leaves off where you started without having to ask you to do anything, which is fantastic. I love that. Um, and obviously, I'm not going to... I don't really want to give away too much because it's such a good game that it'd be a shame to uh, play through the whole thing and, and spoil it for you guys. Uh, I definitely recommend uh, playing it. I've been uh, talking to the, the guy who made it, and uh, he definitely um, is very humbled by the fact that everybody loves this game. Um, but it is a fantastic game. It's uh, it's really fun. Uh, there's a lot. I think I play it. I, he said there's like three hours of gameplay. I think, um, but I might have played it for more just because I was, you know, trying to replay it to get the crystals and uh, to optimize, you know, the, how many moves you do in your um, in the level. Uh, and if you recognize, oh, I just messed up. That's so annoying. Actually, I didn't. Fantastic. Luckily, it's uh, quite forgiving sometimes. Um, but uh, yeah, it's uh, a fantastic game. You can just see by the artwork. So I, I would... The one thing I might suggest that it needs to be improved, I think they're planning on making a full full release where it has uh, multiple levels. Once you play it to the end, uh, you see that there's, like, there's even more levels. I'll try and... Um, I think if I press B... Uh, and then it will go out to the main thing. I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So as you can see, it says no entry. But if you, once we go across, there's like three or four different um, planets that we can go to in this game. And then there's more that we can't see. Uh, and the story is fantastic. But um, one thing I would say about improving it is maybe the music. The, uh, the music isn't as um, high definition or... Um, it's just not as detailed as it could be, um, which is by no means a bad thing. It's uh, it's still good music. And another thing is the is some of the cutscene artwork. Like it feels like the perspective is a bit off sometimes. Like um, like the the maybe the proportions. I I think I mean um, where the you know where like the the head of a person is too small too big and like the it's like an awkward camera angle and, and it's literally just tiny things like that uh that i'm bringing up and it, it doesn't matter at all i'm just trying to give some feedback it's uh, very hard to provide feedback on such a perfect game uh, as you can see there's a lot of effort put into this uh and i asked him about a three month deadline and he said that a one week deadline helps but the three month deadline is like a rope to hang yourself with because you can you just keep planning you keep planning and uh you know you you have huge expectations for the game and then you have to realize you need to cut stuff he said that once there was one month left he uh they got out the scalpel and they started cutting down until they could um they got down to what they knew that it could finish i felt like uh, when it got to the end it was uh it kind of regressed Slightly, mainly because I reckon the uh, the things that you're pushing around end up being ice block, which is obviously from the GB Studio um, template. So it kind of felt a bit weird that uh, you know I I recognised the idea of it, but I don't think that took away from it at all, and I uh, I enjoyed it up to the very end. I uh, I really wanted to keep playing. I wanted there to be more puzzles. The the genius of the of the puzzle creation is fantastic like it, it works really well i just can't praise this enough if you haven't already played this please play it uh, give them some feedback um and i'm i if this comes out on cartridge i will definitely be purchasing it for myself uh, i don't often purchase uh cartridge games uh but this game i really enjoyed the puzzle aspect was really good um normally i play tetris you know like when i'm uh when i'm bored or something uh but while i was playing this game i I found myself coming to this game instead of Tetris, which is, to say something at least, uh, better than Tetris. Uh, pretty awesome. This game is really well designed. This is just the first four, like, three levels I've shown you guys. Um, but it just gets better and better. Uh, the story aspects are very, very good. Um, it actually tells a very interesting story. Um, I think the story could be a bit stronger, and I think... Uh, in this version, they've uh, or this latest version, they've uh, updated it. I, I think I was playing the first version on my Game Boy. Yeah, they added additional story cutscenes, so um, take whatever I say with a grain of salt. Um, and I like the idea that they've also added an alternate ending for when you collect all the crystals. Um, but yeah, it's 
fantastic game. Really d good puzzle to design. I, I just, I'm just, all I'm saying is, is this is fantastic to play it, basically. If you're struggling to, like, imagine what your game is in GB Studio, definitely try this out. This uh, game is a shining ex example of what you can do in GB Studio. So I just want to thank you everybody for watching. I'll just put my patrons up on the screen right now. Thank you so much you guys. You guys are the best. If you like this video, like the video, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video.